Big warning sign. That's how a local marine expert describes the fact that zero, zero right whale babies have been born this year. The North Atlantic right whale is already critically endangered. So what does this unproductive birthing season mean for its future and how can we help them survive? Our Juliet Dreyer has the story. Every year, right whales migrate right here to the coasts of Florida and Georgia to give birth. For the past three decades, an average of 17 calves have been born each year. But this year, researchers haven't spotted any, and it could be an indication of a grim future for the critically endangered animals. The news came as a surprise, even to those who study marine life. I was expecting the number to be relatively low, but I think zero is, is kind of alarming. It's, it has a shock value to it. Dr. Quincy Gibson, an assistant professor of biology at the University of North Florida, says the reaction was similar among her colleagues. Been declining in terms of the number of births, but having none is a big warning sign. Right whales are migratory, Gibson says, meaning they spend summer feeding up near Cape Cod in Canada, but swim down to the coasts of Florida and Georgia in the winter to give birth. Researchers do aerial surveys from December through March, trying to spot new babies. This video from 2011 shows a right whale with its calf. But this year, crews haven't spotted a single baby. And so if we're not seeing them here, that's a pretty good indication that there aren't any calves being born. Right whale deaths are far outpacing births, with 17 washing up dead in the U.S. and Canada in 2017, compared to only five births. Additionally, Gibson says right whales are slow to reproduce. They don't reach birthing age until around 10 and can only have one calf per year. And while there's an estimated 450 North Atlantic right whales remaining in the world, there are far fewer females. So in order for the population to grow and recover their previous numbers, you need a lot of breeding females. And I think the current estimates are that we have less than 100 breeding females in the North Atlantic population. The situation is serious, but not hopeless. Gibson says the biggest threats to right whales are both caused by humans, boat strikes and entanglement in fishing lines. Perhaps increasing the areas where those uh, speed restrictions are in place or making them last longer or slower ship speeds. And then in terms of entanglement, it's working with fishermen to basically reduce the likelihood that the whales are going to become entangled in that gear. There's also hope for a baby boom next year. But if this pattern continues, Gibson says the right whale could be inching toward extinction. Juliet Dreyer, First Coast News on your side.